Welcome back to Ruby. This is volume 8, episode 9, which um, I've been putting it off for like an hour, but I think I just need to watch this episode now. Um, let me set things up, actually. Get the lighting a little bit. Um, last time, we had the attack on the Schnee Manor. The fucking hound. The human. I have to look back, but I think he had silver eyes, didn't he? Or at least gray. I don't know if there were silver eyes for sure, but... Because um, I think I saw like a theory vid. I didn't watch it, but I saw like a thumbnail. It was like talking about how Ruby's mom, Summer, might be not the hound, but like similar. So maybe Salem is capturing silver-eyed warriors and turning them into Grimm, which is why she cap she wanted to capture Ruby instead of kill her in the first place. Huh. Anyways, um, yeah, Penny is getting hacked into, but she's still rocking it. Cinder freed Watts, that's correct. And then I think Crow is going to break Robin out. Um, he transformed into a crow so that he could probably just fly out. Um, but I'm pretty sure he'll take Robin. I mean, it makes sense, right? I don't know about Jock, though. <laughs> Uh, anything else big? It was, it was mainly on the Ruby squad this time. Um, yeah, things are not looking good. So let's get in this episode and find out what happens next. Oh my god. They have the elephants and the flying monkeys. Nevermore. The griffins. And they're. <sighs> I'm tired for them. <laughs> that was harrowing. We're not in the clear yet. We they're really gonna have to thing and find Oscar, or the Aesop's blow us to pieces. How are we supposed to find Oscar? It's going to be like finding a needle in a giant whale. Why did we think this was a good idea? I, I might be able to. Help. Yeah, I was gonna say, I can Ren sense, sense like people? The, people's emotions. I yeah. Think. It happened on Winter Ship. If I focus my aura, I can keep it up. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's new. Maybe one of them is Oscar? Yeah. I can sort of tell where they are, but not who. They're more or less in the same area, though. Further in. I can lead. Hey, you don't have to drain yourself. I can help, too. Yeah, uh, good thinking. Thanks. Okay. Well, lead the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's nice to see Ren chilling out, you know, getting more to his cool self. You know, before she lastly, lately he's been kind of annoying, but nothing hurt worse than the loneliness in her chest. I recognize that. The girl who fell through the world. <laughs> I shouldn't be surprised you're so familiar with fairy tales. <laughs> I've lived through my share of them. How are you holding up? I thought the idea of falling through remnant into a new world was exciting. I never understood why she was so sad when she finally made it back home. But now, it makes more sense. She wasn't the same girl anymore. Yeah. I think this plan to divide might have run its course. It's time we start thinking about a way out. Not having our king certainly limits the options, so... No. I don't like what happens when we use magic. Ooh. Every time we use it, I can feel us merging faster. Oh. I'm not ready for that. I don't blame you. Honestly, mm. I think you're doing just fine on your own. Are they going to have a talk finally? Ozpin and Oscar? They need to, like, hash it out. Hazel, I'm tired of you. Listen up, everyone. We're keeping this LZ oh clear shit, Team Funky. That thing. If we can't I was gonna say, like, why do they have no to spit out Grim and we lose the city? Is that understood? Yes, yes ma'am. You wouldn't happen to know a tune for this, huh? I don't know that anybody does. Oh. Another wave incoming. Keep them back. Okay. God damn. Move, move, move. Oh my God. This shit sucks. Just kids. <laughs> you can hash out your issues. 
It's because this shit's so dark. The way that Funky was like the fun team, and now it's like Harbingers of Death. <laughs> you bring me here I've been thinking about what you said if it's a lie and I took that lie to Salem the punishment would fall on my head before yours if what you said is true and I use the password myself well I don't know what happens when this thing activates so let's see if you're bluffing you want me to summon her Either way. Oh shit. It'll tell me what I need to know. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh my god. Jin. You have to hold it? Okay. Just say the name in the presence. Did you have a question for me? <laughs> Actually, I think all my questions are answered now. Yay! What, to do? what Gretchen would have done. But doesn't she have to be used? And that starts with getting you away from here. Yay! Both of you. Yay! I'm going to need something before I go. So, just to be clear. Ooh. None of you have a question again with these questions. No, Emerald will be bringing you with us. The moment we move that thing, this place goes on high alert. Better to get you out first. But I'll come back for it. Not like she knows the password anyway. Shit, 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 shit. I don't trust it. She's okay with it. Is she okay? Someone's watching. Is that Neo? Oh my god. But she can't talk. How is she gonna use. <laughs> Neo! We trusted you, Neo. <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. No, don't. Yeah. I'm masking and tracking at the same time. Do you guys need a minute? <sighs> we don't know how much longer we have. Why don't you give masking a break? Give me directions and I can scout ahead. Thanks. We should be heading straight for a while. I don't trust it. You gotta stay together. Well, at least you guys being friends again takes the sting out of impending doom. Stay together. It's okay to be afraid, you know. Yeah, Yang, just calm down. You don't always have to hide it with a joke. Mm hmm. Glad I'm not the only one who's scared. Of course I'm scared. Okay, catch up to Gon. Let's go. <laughs> There's no fear at all. I can see it. He believes we're going to get this done. Mm, I don't Can trust I do it. I don't. <laughs> when you say that, it makes me doubt. Yeah, mask is right now. Oh my God! <laughs> when you say shit like that, it doesn't instill me with confidence. Just kill it. I don't know. It, yeah. Uh, shit! Their auras are gone. Okay, just blast it. Blast it! Shit. You sure he'll be okay on his own? I don't know. We just need to get... Wait. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hazel. Have you gotten what we need yet? I... I... No, Hazel! The seers. Fuck. It seems we have guests. Hazel. The lamp. Find them. That's such a non-answer. Oh my god. Shit. What now? Let's do what we do best. Charge blindly into danger. <sighs> Would have gone with keep moving forward, but sure. Ren? Forward. No matter what. Forward always. Oh my god. Someone's going to die today. 
I'm just saying, somebody in this episode is gonna die. I don't know who, <laughs> but we've made it so far into this volume without a lot of death. One of our heroes. Come on, Juan. Juan, I'm tired. <laughs> Oh my god. Stop. Whoa. Oh. Oscar. And that's why he was fumbling. Okay. Okay, we got to get out. We got to get out. Some weak minds nearby? What's going on here? We got to get out. It's a long story. You're going to have to try and summarize it. Why should we trust you? Because she's scared. Just like us. Okay, let's get out. We're on time. Or maybe because I know how to get out of here. Anybody coming? Come on, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my god, Hazel. This is it, everyone. We're gonna clear a path to that monster. We get the payload aboard, set the timer, and then we're out. God, I don't think this bomb's gonna do anything to that they fucking whale. Be alive in there. I gave them their window. We can't wait any longer. Would you say the same thing if it was your sister inside? Are you gonna tell her what you did to her friends? Oh, Mero, oh my god. Yes, Mero. Because that's my duty. Oh, shit. Now you do yours. My god. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> this episode is too much happening. We're almost out. What is that? It's her. Shit. Uh uh. Jump. I don't care. Just get out. <laughs> Not the Gumby arms. You really have been honing that semblance of yours. Okay, yeah, she's she's fucking immortal. Shit. Invulnerable even. Let them go. <gasps> how do you beat her? How do you how How the fuck do we get out of here right now? What did you do with the lamp? N nothing. It's missing. Where is it? I didn't do anything with it. I didn't do anything with it. Where is it? <sighs> Look how you've diminished. How you've lessened yourself. And for what? These children? This ruined world? Why do you keep coming back? Why do you? Ooh. All of this endless death. Because something bad happened to you once upon a time? Uh huh. Nobody gets a fairy tale ending. Read her. Read her. Everything <laughs> I've lost. Every person. I've lost is because of you. And who is it I've taken from you, girl? Summer Rose. My mom. Who? Hmm. Her again. Your grace. Ah. Hazel. I found out. No, our I want to I want to go back to the Yang thing <laughs> with with Summer. <laughs> this one was helping him. I ain't got time. Take the boy back to his chamber. I have work to do with this one. Oh my god. Yes. Of course. Shit. She's probably choking out there. Give him his 
weapon back? Is that what happened? I really don't know. Yeah! 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 <laughs> oh my god. Run, bitch! This is your in window of opportunity. Ah, oh, shit! Hazel, you'll die. It's go. Oh, I like that parallel that he gets to protect so somebody, like a sister figure. For your sister, after all this time. I'm doing what Gretchen would have done. <laughs> So happy Hazel's getting his redemption. I know he's not gonna live through this, but still. <gasps> Bitch! Okay, why aren't you running? Girl, get the fuck up. <laughs> Come on, everyone, out! Wait! Where's Oscar? Oscar? Oh my god. Boy. She'll just come after us. But we need you! Oh my god. <laughs> this is... Oh. Oh. What is happening here on this day? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Burning her at the stake. Do it. Goodbye, Hazel. What is happening? <laughs> That's not it. This week <laughs> and cliffhanger endings that are so annoying <laughs> I don't even have thoughts in my head I'm too busy Anyways, <laughs> nope. I literally have nothing to say. Um, I liked again. I liked the the return of Team Funky. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting any focus on them in particular, but it's a nice little narrative tool to bring back again a team that was just fun. You know, as much as annoying they were introduced in Volume Three as an antagonist, you know, antagonistic force for that one episode. Um, they were fun. They were fun characters to be around. So to invert it now here in this volume where it's because we are so used to them being like a sign of fun and good times, it's they're they're literal child soldiers now. It's I can't think of the words, but it's such a nice narrative tool to be able to use them to sort of just add to the tone and signal how far we've come and what kind of world we're living in now where again just a trumpet guy a literal rainbow rollerblading cat person you know meme people turning into the last line of defense basically like the fact that they have to go through this now um yeah just really nice narrative I don't, again i don't think that's the right thing but storytelling idea um 
Hazel and Emerald portraying. What the fuck is Neo doing? God damn it. I forgot about her. Because everyone's like, where's the lamp? And I'm like, Hazel has it, obviously. No, Neo fucking took it. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about Neo for a second. Um, so Neo knows everything. She was a little fly on the wall. She knows how to activate it. She knows that everyone's betraying or whatever. What? First off, does this mean she's a selective mute? In that she... Because she has to be able to activate the lamp. Unless it was like... But there's still no way... I don't know. Is there a way to use the lamp without speaking? Like... Hypothetically... Let's pretend that... Because Jin was like slowly unwinding away back into the lamp but we didn't see her fully gone when neo started running up to her so let's pretend Jin is still up and active is there a way for neo to get a question through to Jin without speaking could she write it down could Jin read her mind is there some sort of way that the lamp can be used without neo actually speaking or will neo speak and use it or there's so many so many possibilities right now because there's i'm sort of thinking from what we've been seeing this season of neo i feel like she was i've said before i think she's on the side of characters that could betray salem and cinder but so going with that thought process neo would use the lamp for her own purposes which would be i don't know what she would ask but she would ask something okay whatever um there's a tiny part where there's a small chance where basically where neo takes the lamp in order to secure it for salem or cinder you know to to secure her place on salem's council basically i think it's very unlikely but there's a possibility there especially if she believes salem can bring back roman or something maybe that's a plot line there I would be severely disappointed because I love Neo and to see her turn fully evil after she's been such an anti-hero and like not an anti-hero necessarily but she's been like a a morally gray villain I guess um throughout this whole series so to see her turn into full-on villain by helping Salem that would be disappointing but it would create some interesting story options for the show. So I could see it happening. Um, Hazel and Emerald betrayed, which is good. I love that. Um, Emerald got out. Oscar and Hazel are staying behind for whatever fucking reason. I t I'm surprised no one died. Like, I honestly thought... Everyone had death lines this episode. Everyone was, like, saying things that could have been the last words. <laughs> everyone from Yang to Ren to Team Funky to, like, Mero. Okay, like, literally every character was, like, red flag, red flag, red flag. So, <laughs> I'm very surprised. Um, I don't think Hazel died. He was, like, getting choked out for sure. But, and, like, I'm sure that he's, his body's taking a toll with all that fucking dust. But... I don't think he, like, flatlined on screen. I think he's on his deathbed doing, you know, I don't think he's going to survive this encounter, but I don't believe he's actually dead dead right now. Um, love that Hazel moment. I've, go back to my volume four, five reaction, sorry. Um, volume five, the finale, with the, the, not the finale finale, but like, whatever, chapter 11 or something. Um, when we learn Hazel's backstory about how his sister, whatever, I said it was the stupid, fu stupidest fucking thing. <laughs> so, it's not only a redemption of his character, but it's a redemption in my eyes of like. I guess I guess it's 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 nice to see that Hazel isn't so far gone as to believe that he's right all the time i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say um i thought his character motivation was dumb this whole time so i'm glad that he's finally snapping out of it and realizing 
he's being manipulated, I guess. Um, and he's been such a father, father brotherly figure towards Emerald. I really like that parallel, like I said, where you know he didn't get to save Gretchen, but he gets to at least save Emerald. Um, and yeah, I just I started off really liking his character just because he was so mysterious and like soft spoken, and you know he didn't seem like an overtly malicious character. And then we had Volume Five, where it turns out okay, he's kind of dumb <laughs> but i think this volume in particular really helped to again sort of clear up some things and make him more interesting and more nuanced of a character um you know not a big redemption you know i think he's it's you know based on things he said in the past he's done some terrible things you know i i you know he's mentioned that he's killed with the they you know collectively have killed silver eyed warriors before so like it's obviously noted and you know we've seen how he fights that he's probably done some shady shit and he's probably done some bad stuff but so he's not necessarily redeemed but at least as far as our protagonists go um to be able to sway one of the villains to their side uh it kind of goes into the theory that maybe this show ends with oscar being able to redeem salem somehow um based on this episode in particular though between oscar and salem maybe not but as far as showing that it can be done to redeem a character i like it i like that we got hazel i like that we got emerald um curious about i'm gonna have to rewatch. i think it was episode seven because I don't remember exactly what happened. I know that Emerald heard pretty much Oscar uh, expositioning about everything that Salem's been through and all that. And so she knows the truth about Salem, but her entire character motivation has been about Cinder so far. So to see her changing sides because of her fear of Salem rather than her love of Cinder, it's going to be interesting to see that play out. Um, like, where does that leave? Is that going to foreshadow like a Cinder and emerald showdown eventually or something um is emerald still loyal to cinder i don't know like she's in such a weird spot right now like yes in the moment i was rooting for emerald to get out there with rem and like you know join the good guys but now that i'm thinking about it where do her loyalties really lie does she have loyalty anymore or is she fighting for survival still um so yeah i'm just interesting about that um Like I said, Ren, I'm glad that he's sort of got his head out of his ass again. He's, you know, I like that he still has some spunk to him now, but I'm glad that he's not just angry all the time and, like, conflicted. You know, I feel like he's finally, like, hit that point of zen or something. I don't know. It's like some sort of, he's made some sort of breakthrough where he's able to still have these emotions and be a fully developed human being. But he's also not just a stick in the mud. <laughs> so I'm glad he kind of said that to Yang too. You know, like, you don't have to be, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be put up a front. You know, it's okay to be scared. It's okay to still, you know, not know what you're doing. Because I think that's been her character during this whole volume. Um, you know, we started the volume with her and Ruby having a spat because she doesn't think this is the way it's supposed to go but now that she's gotten the chance to lead her team she lost oscar you know um everyone's fighting on her team so like now that all this stuff is happening and she realizes how being a leader is actually a tough thing i like that she's finally getting not put in her place but like getting some development there as far as like you know you don't have to shoulder all the burden i guess um that little moment where she acknowledges Summer as her true mother. I'm not holding my breath for a Raven Redemption arc. But I am kind of wanting Raven to do something. Because she's like the only one that has instant access <laughs> to get to Atlas and help out. You know, I, it, the last we saw her I know was a long time ago now. But she went to Tai Yang. What happened with that? I think, did we see Ty this season when, when the message was sent out? Um, 
God, I just grab up Ty Yang and let's go. You know, save your daughters, okay? Come on. Um, but yeah. Uh, shit, I don't know. I, I Like I said, I, I really wanted... I kind of wanted to explore that scene more of, of Yang confronting Salem because, like, Salem's like, oh, summer again. So, like, they're obviously teasing something, and it's lending a little bit more credence to the fact that Summer might be still alive, quote unquote, as some sort of demon, whatever, grim, whatever. Um, ah, shit. I really like this episode. I feel like there's more stuff, but my playback is not working for some reason. I'm just staring at a blank screen that doesn't want to go anywhere. Um, so, I can't go through the episode, but I really loved it. How many episodes are supposed to be in this volume? Was it 12 or 14? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the comments. Sorry, I'm Richard Cheesy. Um, someone's saying something about Neo giving the code to Salem, and they're, like, hoping for a Roman flashback. I think that would be cool. Um, but when John said keep moving forward, I, I, I picked it up immediately as a Monty Ohm reference. Um, uh, I really liked it because it was Ren, I believe, was saying it. It was John or Ren. Just one of, I think both of them said something similar, but... Um, it was really cool because obviously Monty voiced Ren originally, so it was kind of like a nice full circle there with, I know it's his brother now too, so, um, but it, like I said, it, it felt like a return to Ren's character, so I liked that it was also a nod slash throwback to Ren's original voice actor as well as his original character, um, but yeah. Whew. God, I'm... Uh, my heart. Okay, and then the rest of the comments are like, nah, 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 Ruby. It's like, bro, why are you watching this show then? Just go away. <laughs> Let us have nice things. Anyways, um, I'm going to stop talking. It's been long enough. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. I'll see you in two weeks, I guess. Because, again, I'm not a first member, but go support Rooster Teeth either way. It's really love the show. I just personally am not in a financial situation where I can support Rooster Teeth directly. Um, you know, for subscription service and all that stuff. So, uh, But, again, I love the show. I love what they're doing with this volume. I was just thinking about it, like, nothing... I think I'm getting tainted by Wanda, WandaVision because I'm not... For WandaVision, I have a certain problems that I'll, I talk about in there, so I'm not going to talk about here. But for some reason, I was thinking of us transferring over to Ruby and the same problems were happening, but it's not. I'm really enjoying Ruby this volume. Um, it's not something I'm rewatching just because I think it's so heavy. It's so dark. You know, I'm starting to watch Blind Ways reactions because they are starting up this volume, so that's like the first reaction really that I'm like actually watching with them. Um, usually the volumes I'll like watch the whole thing with a reactor um, but this one actually I haven't really been watching other people's reactions um, partially just to not spoil myself but also partially just because I think it's just been such a heavy season that I can't relive all these moments um, but there is a lot going on and I really appreciate that we are going to these dark places now and like I said last week um, I just I don't see where this ends like, I don't see how this ends, especially if, again, if we have 12 to 14 episodes, that leaves anywhere from, what, three to five more. <laughs> I, I don't see how this volume ends. Um, I think somebody has to die. At least one person, upwards of five, <laughs> just, just to put it out into the world. Uh, one of our main eight, that being Team Ruby, Team Juniper, Oscar, I guess Penny goes in there too. Um, so nine technically, um, but out of that main nine, I think there might be a death, most likely on the team Juniper side. Um, I could definitely see, again, I've seen, I've said before, John, um, especially given his Patroclus status in relation to Pyrrha, it's possible. Um, especially given Miles is a writer, it's possible. <laughs> um, Ren, I feel like they're doing a lot with him now. 
so I'm not sure. But also, if they injured Nora and she's still alive, Ren's on the chopping block because you got to kill one of the pair. So, I don't know. Ren had to break through, but also, Nora is not dead. So, and also, don't fridge all the women. So, I don't know. Um, Penny, I don't know. Uh, there's just so many things. The thing with Penny is, technically, she can be revived one more time. Pietro would die in that case. But um, also, if Penny loses, like, if she dies, does she lose the power? Where would the power go? I don't really see where that plotline would go, so I don't think she's on the chopping block too much. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's time for one of the main characters to die, but also I can't think of one that would be, like, ripe. <laughs> and that sounds so sadistic, but just from, like, a storytelling perspective, I don't know who would go. Um, but I just feel like a part of me just, I, I, I my, my red flags are, are flaring. There's just something, someone's going to die. Um, and I'm very nervous. I guess Crow, I don't know. <laughs> we have to get that too, probably. I mean, most likely Crow versus um, Ironwood. Would that happen this volume? I mean, he did get freed. What's happening with Cinder and Watts? <sighs> Shit. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in two weeks. Bye.